Here we are at the last installment of my mini yokai series that I made for the birthday of a friend. And yeah, the last one is Yukiana, which was the first one I thought about and the first one I made. I had this doll head laying around. I can't even tell you for what I prepared uh, prepared her. I knew or, or I know that I had something in mind with her, but I forgot about it, so I just spray painted her white and made Yuki Onna out of her. It was quite easy. At first, oh, the first step was giving her the white base with some, yeah, base color I can't get my head around how it's called originally. It's a primer. Yeah, primer. So, and uh, then two layers of MSC, and then it was just slapping on some soft pastels. And because Yuki Onna is. Yeah, if you translate it, you have something like Snow Woman. So, it is a yokai that haunts snowy mountain passes and yeah more or less every place where is snow and she is said to lure men in particular in with her beauty and make them freeze to death so very charming very charming girl but yeah i think the description of being pale as snow and with black hair which now where I talk about it has a bit of a snow white vibe um, makes her insanely hauntingly pretty for me so um, it was just a pleasure to do her and I tried to make her face up a little bit yeah, based on what I picture as traditional Japanese makeup without looking it up, because I'm quite convinced that what I did in the end isn't completely accurate, but I thought um, it fitted her quite well, and I just gave her these tiny eyebrow dots that you sometimes see in Japanese pictures or art. Yeah, pictures are art, but never mind. And um, yeah, I, I was completely happy with her because it, w it, it was too easy to be true. With just two layers of chalk pastel, I reached what I had in mind and was able to give her her eyelashes and then the insert eyes and she turned out really well and was done quite fast and yeah, I, I'm really happy with her and I like the expression on her face this more let's say um, yeah, she looks a little bit more, uh, <sighs> I missed the English word for it. Uh, I have to look it up. I didn't have to look it up. It finally came. Sad. Sad was the word. <laughs> oh my. So then I made uh, the inserted eyes out of UV resin and I thought, yeah, just give it a white center and everything will be fine, but I colored the next layer of UV version too much, so everything disappeared. I had to redo this. That is why I made the eyes more or less two times. It's the same the same eye, but I had to recolor it white to have it show up. But with that, the iris or the white of the eye just showed slightly and that was my intention and it really turned out quite nice 
you can't see it that amazingly good in the pictures but in real it looks really nice and just yeah like a slight reflection in the dark hole of her eye and gives her a teeny tiny bit of a demonic look what i think is quite suiting because the sadness on her face makes her more looking more helpless and if you come closer to her you may see the demonic evil that she is i still think she's pretty so and then i um put on the hat cap again and gave her insanely long black hair this time i just glued it on with uh super glue and <laughs> yeah then her white kimono had to be ironed and uh, I made her uh, not so traditional kimono because she is a bit of a seducing thing so it, it was okay for me to show a little bit of cleavage and things like that. Um, it wouldn't be the traditional way to wear a kimono and Yes, I forgot about what I mentioned in the first video with the two um, Hello Kitties. That there is a special way to close a kimono for that people. So, uh, maybe it is wrong. I, I can't. <laughs> I, I don't know. So, um, but I was very pleased with her in the end. The extreme long kimono made her, her look a little bit bigger and I put her on a doll stand from the big Monster High dolls for the decoration at the birthday and that gave her a bit the appearance of being or of floating and with the insanely long black hair ah, she was very very pretty or she is very pretty and I like her and I think I have to do her again for me and maybe I will make her in a slightly bigger size but we will see so maybe you will get a second video of Yukiona <laughs> and with that the yokai series has come to an end I hope you enjoyed these four little projects and yeah let me know what you think about them in the comments below where could i have been a little bit more closer to the original or make it a little bit more great so thank you for watching and we will see you next time bye